Hey everyone, welcome to Daily for New. I'm going to show you in this video on how to do a virtualization using LibWord and KVM in Ubuntu. And this will be in three series, part one, part two, and part three. The first part is basically just how we can install the libraries and how we can create a virtual machines using that, uh, those uh, libraries and then how we can uh, destroy the virtual machines. All the steps in this video, you will find it in this link uh, page here that I will also post that in the video descriptions. And uh, on the second part, uh, I will do some demo on how we can uh, access the use the library to access some of the CPU statistics using C. And for these environments, I'm going to use a C Lions uh, development tool. And uh, some of the use case, for example, on how we can balance the CPU usage across VMs. And the third part, uh, I'm going to use the same library and how we can do a little bit different which is how to um, gather a memory statistics using a C, using C. And then the use case of this, the same simple uses, is basically to balance the memory usage across VMs. Okay, let's get going. A little bit, uh, a little bit about uh, environments here. My environments is uh, VMware Workstation 15 Pro and and uh, Ubuntu uh, uh, version 18. Okay. So you can see here, this is my my uh, Ubuntu. Uh, major 18 and in VMware workstations I launched the terminal here and what we want to do is to check whether this VM using this proce processor has the virtualization enabled or not okay so what we can do is that we type kvm ok okay command kvm ok not farm but we can install it okay let's go and install that Oops, I have a typo there. Let's do again a uh, checker. <clears throat> okay, yes. Okay, let's do another time KVM OK. Okay, it says that your CPU does not support KVM exchanges. One one thing to, to do when, when we have this uh, warning is that we want to enable it from the VMware. So if you go to the VMware and then you go to uh, go to the settings, choose your image obviously, and then go to the settings, you will find the process, you need to enable this virtualized Intel. And in order to enable this, we have to shut down the VM first. So as you can see that the Ubuntu YouTube is shut down. So I go to the VM, I selected this and I go to the VM and then I go to the settings. And then click on the processors and you have to enable this once you enable this click ok and just start the ubuntu again okay here we, we are back to the vms after we started let's go and check again kvm ok right this time it shows that kvm acceleration can be used let's start with installing uh, another libraries that we need First library that we have to use is the uh, the library from the Qemu itself, which is this one. Qemu, uh, all these instructions can be found on that page itself. Okay, yes. So it's going to take a while, so I fast forwarded the video to the finish steps here. So once it's all done, then you you should see something uh, similar to this. And the next thing that I want to use is that uh, a, a tool, tool that uh, that they created on top of the library, which is uh, the UV tool. I'm going to install that. So. All right, all right. Uh, so let's test a few few uh, with few instruction here. For example, the first one that I like to use is verse. Verse basically uh, is is a command line that we can um, use to manage 
the VMs uh, is is a is a tool that built on top of the library. Let's do this. This shows how many machines that we have currently. Okay, no, nothing because we have not created anything yet, which is fine. And uh, before we before we move further, there's one more step that we have to do. We have to add ourselves as the admin that can use this. Okay, good. It's already a member. Okay, before we start to create the VMs, it's good for us to reboot. It's so one important step to reboot the VM first. Okay, the VM is rebooted. The next thing that we want to do is that we want to check if there's any image that can we use can we can use to create a the VM. So first we can just type this command here. Okay, there's no image. Let's go and download one particular image that I like to use. So this is going to take a while. Okay, the image is downloaded, so let's do another query. See that there is a release Daniel with this image here that we can use to create a VM. Now, before we create the first VM, we have to create a RSA public key and private key that we can use this command here. Enter file to which, okay, and this one we can just put enter. And then this is the password to access the VM. Let's put the password. All right. Oh, it's too short. So let's do another time and create a longer password. Enter and then. Okay, so the key, the private RSA key is created and public. Okay, let's create our first VMs. Though I'm, I like to use UV, UVT uh, dash KVM for for to create the VMs on destroy VMs, but I like to use verse for ma um, to query the statistic or to manage the the VMs. So there are two different tools, although they can they can uh, do the same thing. Okay, let's create one. Alright, so let's do again for this. Okay, there's the first VM. Let's create the second VM. Okay, let's do another query. Alright, we got two VMs here. Now okay, we can use this syntax here to wait for the VM to be done. Okay, put this is the password that you have to put in. Uh, when you uh, create your RSA key, the same password. Okay, it's done. So let's try to access the VM. All right. Now you, I already log into the VMs, so I I'm not getting prompt again. But if you get prompt, then you can just enter the same password that you use to create the the key. Next thing I want to do is that I just want to um, prob uh, probably just do a memory info on the same machine okay so we got uh, we assigned 256 gig memory to 256 gig okay this that looks right okay let's create exit and let's take a look again how many VMs that we have created okay we created two Okay, let's complete the first part with destroying the VMs that we created. So there are two VMs. We use the same command to destroy it. And let's destroy the other one. Okay, let's do query again. Okay, so this completes our first part. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching.